What's going on guys? This is Perry with Premier Guitar. Um, I'm here today in Nashville, Tennessee at the Marathon uh, Music Works talking to James Bowman of Against Me. What's going on, man? Hello, how are you? A pleasure to be here, man. Really stoked on this. Thank you. Let's talk about guitars while we have a second. Um, yes. Tell me about your number one. Uh, that would be this. It is a 2005 57 reissue gold top. Very cool. Um, I got it brand new and I've played it every single show since I've gotten it. Yeah. It is very beat. Um, I think it's had it, man. It's yeah, crazy. it's all pretty stock except for the bridge pickup, which is a uh, Duncan Antiquity. Duncan Antiquity, which very is cool. in everything. Sure. So, yeah. Very but cool. that's that's the number stock one. Stock other than that, all right, great. Yeah. And then uh, moving down the line would be this is my fairly newest guitar, which is a 1981 Les Paul Custom. Check that out. Very cool. Um, also oh. an Antiquity. Cool. Uh, bridge pickup. Yeah, I got this. What is it about the antiquity that you like? Um, I don't know. They they just seem to have like the right amount of like mid range and and a little bit of snarl and we'll not to too, not too aggressive. Um, cool. But yeah, I actually got this on Craigslist not that not that long ago in LA. So the guy apparently worked all summer at Baskin Robbins in 1980, saved up all of his money and bought this guitar and then for some reason sold it to me. So, <laughs> cool story, man. Yeah. Um, so are you guys running pretty much standard tuning all across the yeah, board? Yeah, it's, it's always standard tuning. Uh, Laura will play with a capo sometimes. Very cool. And then, uh, yeah, everything for me in, in capo world is just, you know, kicked to whatever key. Um, yeah, this is 2008. Uh, it was a guitar Beautiful. of the week, or a guitar of the month. I think it was May. Uh, yeah, Les Paul 295 Florentine cutaway with a Bigsby. Awesome. Also an antiquity. Pretty. That's a pickup. Yeah, yeah they're... Uh, very cool. That's a and, uh, great looking guitar. Nash. Oh, Nash Telly, huh? Yeah, it's a double bound Esquire, two humbucker, uh, kind of custom dealy I had. Britain make for me there. What do they put in there for you? Uh, they they usually, usually use DiMarzios. Um, and I tried the DiMarzios for a little while, didn't really like them as much. So I went with the antiquity again. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. See a theme running here. Yeah. But yeah, I really love the, the way they redo the necks and like yeah, buff fast. them all down and yeah, it yeah. gets real fast. I, I like the, the fatter 50 style kind of necks. So put one of those on there. And then uh, they also have been doing some like refinishing work on Les Pauls. Yeah, look at that, wow. And uh, they redid this gold top for me recently. What year is this gold top? Uh, this was a 2004. It was actually a gecko burst which I don't know if you've ever seen one. It's like greenish yellow. I think I remember seeing Like those. neon yeah. green. Um, so yeah. So did they refinish the whole thing for you? They do. They strip, they strip it all down and, uh, and uh, redo. I think they even might redo the grain filling where it needs it. Crazy. That's and then, I mean, yeah, just legit as hell. redo the nitro on them and uh, then kind of beat them all up. Very cool. Well, as far as um, string gauges go, do you pretty much play the uh, same thing always? Yeah, always tens and uh, Ernie Balls. Ernie Ball tens. Ernie Balls. I've been using the Cobalt Slinkies that they came out with recently. Um, they sent them to check out and I just kind of liked, you them, liked and, them. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. And so this is this is everything, huh? This is uh, everything right now. Gotcha. <laughs> that, How, I mean, do you play all these every night or? Uh, it's usually two a night uh, for like support stuff. Gotcha. Headlining stuff will do we'll do a little up more. Sure. Kind of. Great. Well, um, as soon as we can get four. to your pedal board, let's go yeah. take a look. All right, cool. cool. Thanks. All right, James, so um, <clears throat> your amps are kind of hidden right now, but maybe you could just tell us what they are because it's a little uh, tricky to see. The main one, the inside guy, is a Bogner Shiva, the 606 version. Um, just through a, it's like a 90s orange cabinet. Stock. That has, uh, Weber's in it, Weber's actually. Cool. It has like an X pattern of uh, Blue Dogs and Silver Bells. Um, and then the inside cabinet is actually a 74 orange cabinet. It's all original, has the original uh, G12H30s in it, and uh, Fender Tone Master. Killer. To this. Did so, you do a speaker shootout or anything, or is this just um, like something you really like? The I was using uh, vintage 30s and everything, and just on a whim, um, just started experimenting with a bunch of stuff, and I really liked the way this sounded with with the uh, the Tone Master. And then got the Webers and they just, they They're sound killer. great. Yeah, yeah. They sound really, great really speakers, great. so. Awesome. Well, um, um, let's take a look at your pedals. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so uh, 
<clears throat> you got some fun stuff on here. How, where, 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 where do we start? Uh, well, I guess we can start here with the, the looper. Um, this controls everything sure. on the board just to, to keep it all kind of within foot's reach so you don't have to dance all over the place. Right. Um, but yeah, I guess it starts over here with it's labeled fun, which would be the new Earthquaker devices afterneath. Um, I'm not actually sure what kind of pedal it is. <laughs> it, uh, it makes some crazy like trails and, and reverby sounds and it sounds really cool. Um, been using it. this slot usually gets kind of like random things put into it and that one's been on there for the longest now so I think it's staying. Cool. Um, and then move to the EQD Echo, Ghost Echo pedal. Um, yeah. Then it goes to the MXR EVH Phase 90. Classic. And then uh, Smart People Factory Cali Quake. Unfortunately hey. Smart People Factory isn't around anymore but pedals are still great. Uh, 89 Ibanez Delay. Uh, this is made by this guy, Brian um, Keesman Pedals in Boone, North Carolina. He makes some really great stuff. This is just a little uh, boost pedal, one knob. A little, like kinda, a clean boost? Yeah, just a clean boost. Cool. Um, kind of boosts the signal a little bit. And then uh, Red thread. another uh, Smart People Factory pedal, which is a Big Muff clone, like a Russian Big Muff sure. clone. And then another uh, boost pedal made by Smart People Factory as well, but it has a uh, kind of like an EQ on it, so you can Use this one for more of the low end boost and this one for a high so you, end boost. You have it all dialed in and then you tape it off so it doesn't change. Tape it off so it just doesn't it's move. Easy. And I if anyone gets on stage that. and yeah. messes with it, it doesn't move. So, uh, and then the newest addition, I guess, would be the Strymon Timeline. Awesome pedal. Um, yeah. yeah, I have a bunch of delay sounds programmed in here for different songs and just kind of scroll through them. And I think you can store, I don't even know, an infinite number of different things in it. But sure. I've so only I'm, gotten around to six. So. I'm guessing this is just for volume then? Yep, yeah, just a volume pedal. Uh, Ernie Ball uh, MVP, the new volume pedal that has like a boost built into it, but not using the boost function function at the moment. <laughs> Very cool. Um, but yeah, and that that would be it. And a chromatic tune. Oh yeah, awesome. of course, of yeah, course. You have you have to tune. Cool. Well, you man, I can appreciate yeah, how much. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks so much. We're gonna go talk to Laura and uh, cool. have a great show. Thank you. Cool. Hey guys, what's up? This is Perry. I'm talking to Laura Jane Grace of Against Me. Hello. Uh, so awesome to be here. I'm really excited for your show. Awesome, me too. Let's start with your number one. This is, I guess this is, this is my number one, yeah. The baby. So this is a Rickenbacker 360, and I do not know the year. I bought it at the Music Emporium in Chicago, and I love this guitar, guitar and it's traveled the world with me, and as you can see, it's all fucked up. I the smashed it. Awesome, yeah. I was playing a show in uh, North Carolina, and I got kicked in the teeth by a crowd surfer, mic down my throat, and, I, uh, and I smashed this guitar. Um, and so as you can see, like, the neck's been glued back together there, Oh wow! Right there, it broke, and then it broke completely in half that way as well. So it's all just fixed. Glued back together. Yeah, yeah, and it, and there it snapped to. Change the tone at all? Um, no, not really. You know, and it still plays great. It's an and so at this everything. point, it doesn't matter if it gets further fucked up. So it's, it's a killer, great man. road guitar, and it. I mean, it's one of a kind. I've always wondered what these marks were. I've never been able to figure it out. First, I thought it was like someone set a cigarette. cigarette, but like they're too squared off or whatever. And I don't one know. Little cigarette there, yeah, yeah, and there's one, two, three, four. So it's yeah, but strange. I love this guitar. Very cool. And then my second favorite guitar right now was a gift from James, and. Um, it's a Nash Telly, and it's just the lightest guitar ever. So, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's easy on the back, and it just, you know, it looks fucking killer, and it sounds killer. And did this pickup come in the Nash, or is that something that you It saw? did. You know, this is, again, James gave me this guitar, and uh, he kind of had it made. So he was the one who sent, uh, Probably got an antiquity sent, them, <laughs> yeah, sent them the specifics, and then he just, I was like, I like that. You should give it to me, and, and he did. Very cool. So, well, while we're standing right here, let's take a look at these Voxes. Uh -huh. uh, I know you were playing high watt a long time ago. What, what made you switch to Vox? Um, I like the combo of the Rickenbacker Vox sound. And I just, I think Voxes are really classy amps. And um, I don't know, you know, like I, I collect amplifiers, obviously. So I still have some high watts and I've got some matchless stuff. And I've got a, you know, my twin reverb is like usually my recording amp, but it's not roadworthy anymore. It has these like huge EV speakers in the back of it with massive magnets. and kind of can't take the road. But um, sure. so this is just, you know, it's it's a workhorse. It's always reliable, knock wood. And uh, yeah. Are they stock or do you modify these at all? Um, our tech, uh, Brad, like uh, modified them with the pick, uh, with some speakers in there. I forget what speakers are in there right now. I'm terrible right now. I'm trying to get a photo for you guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no worries. 
Well, with that said, let's uh, take a look at your pedals. Okay, cool. cool. All right, so it looks like your pedal board situation is pretty easy. Mm -hmm. It's not too complicated. I love that you got it on some wood here. You want to walk us through it? Right. Well, I, it's it's nice with this setup, so I don't I have, don't have to do like far tap dancing. You know, mm -hmm. I can just do a little bit of tap dancing. But um, you know, a tuner. Uh, I got the MXR Phase 90, Black Eye Clean Boost, and then uh, the Blackstone. And then this is my favorite pedal. And James got me this pedal, and it's a Roland S Howard RS2 pedal. And as you can see, it says on there, Jaguar to twin reverb. And I'm obviously not running that, but if you like hit this in conjunction with all these other things and put your guitar right up to the amp, you will get just the craziest, weirdest feedback, feedback. sounds ever. So, I mean, that's kind of my main thing. This is just really for like when the guitar starts to die even, and I want it to be louder, I can just give it a little, little, little jump. And I use this only like occasionally. And then this is for like single note sound. Like a, we have that song, I was a teenage anarchist. Like that's that sound. So it's, it's a cool pedal. Yeah, and the carbon copies that are great too. I love that. Yeah, that's more of like a toy. When I just want to like do something weird, do some you can weird hit that noises. and fucking turn the turn the knobs, you know. <laughs> or if we do any, 11. if we're doing dub music too. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, I appreciate it so much you taking the time. Yeah, thank you so us. very much. I'm very excited it. about the show. Right on. Thanks, guys. Stay tuned. Um, check our YouTube. Subscribe. See you later. Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.